everyone. My name is Bozhenka Kipling for those that do need names. You can think of me <laughs> as an old grandmother. And why I am just talking to you right now, it is because of story that I need to tell. I am compelled to tell this story because it is so incredible, so unbelievable, and it was so unexpected that it has to be told, even if I'm going to say it poorly. A few days ago, my husband, Brian, died. And like in all families, the grief is tremendous. I don't know where I am and what I am after what has happened, but this is not the story. The story is about something even more mysterious than what has happened with Brian and us over here. Just that the night that he, he passed on, we were grieving. Andrea and I sat in this very room and his bed was laid over here. We dressed him up and did all the rituals and ceremonies the best that we knew how. And in our tremendous grief, we were lamenting because we lost something of, of the value that cannot be replaced by not even by any memory and Brian was a scholar scientist this is his shelf these are his books this is this is his photograph and that's why I'm sitting over here in front of this massive display because it was his and wearing the pink bow because he he loved that so we are grieving and my greatest lament was that due to Brian's stroke, he uh, started to lose his cognitive function just a few days before, before his death. And that amazing mind, amazing life, which was, which was life of a humanitarian, life of a husband and father and brother and, and teacher, educator, it declined into the little boy born in England that was speaking with a Yorkshire accent. And I was so distressed. I said, but karma pulled him regardless of everything, of all of his achievements as a human being, someone that allowed himself to grow um, and to develop as he, as he went. He became a little boy and that was the hardest thing for me. I was just thinking, oh, what am I going to do now? I cannot help him. I cannot go with him to into his childhood, which happened in England, even before I was born. And this is hard to explain with words. I was so, I was worried and distressed that, that he would just go like this. And I cried to Andre, I said, I don't know what to do. I just don't know how to pull him out of of that time, again, this is hard to explain. Emotions were very strong. And I thought I lost him. We lost him, that all his life, from childhood until the death, it was lost. He ended up where he began and I couldn't help him. And then something so unexpected happened. I was just, Andrea was sitting here in this chair and I was just just a front of, of walking through the hallway. And in this, this agonizing lament of losing my husband to karma, to childhood, to uh, our cat, Cosmos. It was my cat, my, my beautiful, beautiful Cosmos, 10-year-old healthy cat. She came on the scene, walked between me and Andrea, lifted her head, threw her head high up, and fell on the ground, dead. 
just there, just in front of our eyes. And I knew, I just knew that cosmos in, and in some weird, strange, magical, mysterious way, she understood and she knew the way to pull him out because Cosmos was part of our life here. For lack of a better word, Cosmos sacrificed, she sacrificed her life to do what I couldn't do, what no one could do in order to help that little boy to become a man which he was. We had to cross the threshold and you, very few of us can do that while he's still living. So somebody had to die in order for this to be accomplished. And Cosmos did it. A little orange calico kitten. So it shows, shows us that we know very little. And for one, this old grandmother realized that I know nothing. So that is a story of little calico cat and a man that died and became a boy. And then this mysterious miracle happened. Some, I, I still cannot believe it, I cannot fathom it, but it happened. That's what happened, cosmos. Cosmos did it, a little calico kitten. She <laughs> crossed over to the threshold. <laughs> and why? I don't know. And that very seemly to be so emotional and to cry. But the story needs to be told. Perhaps you would want to light a candle for a kitten and this young boy <laughs> traveling traveling across, believing that we don't need to explain everything, but we do need to share the story. Well, thank you for listening.